hope that you are enjoying the art with this new uh, platform that we really like. Um, and um, it's Arium. And uh, finally, we have the possibility of uh, meeting again with our uh, faces and voice. And uh, we are very happy to be here. Special thanks to Dan and Jason who helped to put up this whole thing. Uh, and we are really, really grateful. Um, so this is um, a, a preview of what will happen tomorrow uh, on the platform Sky. Nifty Gateway, uh, where um, Hackathon and Sky Gold Pay collaborated in the creation of a portraits collection for um, a drop uh, that will happen tomorrow. Um, there are many stories to say about this collaboration. Um, it's it's not um, easy to start from somewhere, but maybe we should just take it um, uh, from what a collaboration is, especially in the crypto art space. Uh, and also I invite you to read uh, the article that you will find on the wall of the concept room. It's an article on RT where we speak about collaboration in the space and the specific collaboration that these artists had. Um, the story is really beautiful. Uh, Sky Golpe said that when he came to um, the show that I organized um, last October in Rome, he had uh, the first contact where he was exhibited um, uh, through Mokta. He saw for the first time uh, the, um, the art pieces by Hakatao, these canvases, and he was very fascinated by, uh, you know, also the physical uh, presence and the the uh, the real encounter, and that's when he started to think about a collaboration that could have with them. And finally, it's happening. Uh, I keep telling uh, everybody that it was a pleasure that happened on. <clears throat> huh? No, no, no. <laughs> I keep saying everybody that it was a pleasure that happened on Sunday mornings. We have been working on this project for a while now. We would meet on Sunday mornings and put together our thoughts. It was not only a collaboration, but it was also a co-curation that I've done with Serena Tabaki of Mokta. Uh, and uh, finally, we got to find uh, and we agree on a theme that uh, represented uh, the four of us and we think pretty much all the people who are here, uh, which is the digital unconscious and this um, collective, uh, uh, we say, um, hallucination, uh, which is um, which was hidden until uh, recently and now had the chance to came to light. So we explored the theme of unconscious and awareness um, from two points of view, a philosophical one and a more social and historical one. Philosophical one because, um, and we had um, Sky Golpe uh, more on the side of Freud and Hakatawa more on the side of um, Jung. Uh, and uh, so where we, as human beings, we are all connected uh, in this ocean of unconscious and we're just the, the like the the end of a whole iceberg which is hidden um, in the ocean and so um and from the social historical point of view we thought about this ocean of the unconsciousness uh being uh, occupied by the digital and crypto art community that for years has been uh sharing uh this collective um hallucination and this uh, digital um, collective hallucination and now recently had the chance to come up to light as the iceberg and finally um, and finally show up um, so um, uh, what you see here uh, the collection of, of these portraits uh, I'm sure that um, all of you would know these two artists, Hakatao and Sky Golpe. You see that um, the result of the mix of um, the two styles, um, and then we will tell you more about how he creatively happened. It, it's not really only a mix, but pretty much both of them push the boundaries of, of the other one. Um, is this... Um, um, very contemporary portraits that uh, represent um, all of us, especially as um, 
as a community, which is the crypto art community. Um, and, uh, and they do it in a way that only, obviously there are only a uh, few creators in the world that can at least have a contact uh, with the future. And those are artists. Um, in terms of creative collaboration, it was also very nice to um, hear from them what happened when they came together. Besides the, the choice of the theme and how to develop uh, the whole project, uh, then it came the time when they had to create. Um, so for instance, um, as you will notice, it is the first time ever that um, portrait by Sky Golpe um, um, shows and uh, portraits a woman. Uh, this was an input that came from um, Hakatao, especially from the female part of Hakatao. We were all uh, very much uh, sustaining this idea, and so Sky Golpe took the, the challenge and and he and he came up with with um, a female portrait. Um, and uh, instead, for Hakatao, what happened was that. Um, for instance, uh, during the collaboration, um, Sky Golpe took a. I hear a noise. Oh, Serena is here. Can you guys see me? Can you see me? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and so I will say, and then I will leave uh, the microphone to Serena. Uh, and I was saying that. Um, uh, yeah, and on the contrary, what happened for Hakatao was that um, Sky Golpe took one of the uh, details of the drawing by Hakatao and it just uh, made it bigger. It, he enlarged uh, the drawing and the first reaction of Hakatao was like, wait, this is not Hakatao. You cannot do that. You cannot like enlarge our uh, art. But then they thought about it and they also took the challenge as he did um, for the female uh, figure. And uh, they, they thought that, that it, it, it works very well. And so finally, what everybody understood here, uh, the fourth of us, uh, I think I can say, and especially the artists, is that uh, collaboration is good for many reasons, but probably uh, the, the, best, uh, the best advantage and thing that you can take out of it um, is uh, the fact that you get to know yourself better to, through the other. So uh, it would these kind of creative um, actions and acts could have, could have never happened without uh, the other artists pushing uh, each other, and and so it was um, a very good chance to to grow artistically and obviously as a community and as a group of people working together. Yeah, Serena, do you want to add anything? You have to come into the red circle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is okay? Can everyone see me and hear me fine? Yep. Just a yeah. quick check. Yeah, you're, you're on the microphone, yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you all for bearing with me. I had some issues in logging in, but I'm here now and uh, in this wonderful location. So thank you all for putting this together. It's been an amazing experience collaborating with two of the most creative artists do and uh, Sky Golpe as well. Um, it's been an amazing experience in terms of co-curation and collaboration. So I will share with you what this meant for me um, as a curator working on this project alongside Eleonora. So when we started this project, I don't know if Eleonora gave you a background story that uh, we started having calls on uh, Sunday mornings and uh, those were kind of like our usual appointments where we were discussing what the unconscious meant for all of us and how we wanted to visualize it you know what was the aesthetic experience of the unconscious and we also started reflecting on uh, what the technology meant to us and also what influence the NFTs and the old communities have uh, had over the past months in the experience we all created uh, in uh, having ourselves online. And so whether our online presence was still part and connected of 
you know, who we are as human beings, um, or was kind of like an alter ego of, of us. And so getting lost in this sea, as we described it, of the unconscious was fascinating because as you can see in the works here surrounding us, there will, there's always, you know, a hint to what it feels like to get lost into something that we don't know. And we will probably would never know because um, we don't have the tools to access what we can only see at the surface. So this has been an experience where we've been trying to dig up and explore what we feel and how we connect with those parts that often we don't relate to on our on our everyday life because of the paradigm that society has created and so that we follow because you know those are a given um so it's been you know extremely challenging for us as well um but i think we all came out of this experience refreshed and given you know the works that you see in this room today are probably the closest we got to experiencing these unconscious this unconsciousness and how we felt about it and this was really like a work that came out of five of us working together on Sunday mornings and the artists working very close even though they were not showing a physical studio but just a virtual one uh, but creating as one so as probably Leonora suggested before um, there are similarities but also very um different styles that we see here combined very harmoniously so you see sky Golpe having these traits of uh, putting a frame around what often is left as a blank canvas you see those portraits with a void you know uh, instead of having a defined face akatao instead uh, are a duo that love to create detailed story and connect all of those stories with plenty of references. Often in the crypto art space, we don't find um, an historical note of what is happening uh, in the present moment. So artworks become a testimony of the present for the future. And I think in this exhibition, we can state that the past months have been very well encapsulated in those works and really connect with the essence of ourselves and how we've been feeling throughout also the pandemic and how the technology has enabled communities to come together to to explore the networks uh, that we've all created and how we've been shaping and influencing this and how we as human have had an impact on the technology and how the technology has enabled us to get closer to our human um, human soul and the fact that you know there's no a separation between the tech and the human parts that it's all seen as one so that's something i wanted to share and um maybe a little curiosity is that uh, uh, the first time I was actually receiving a call from Akatao um, and uh, and Sky Golpe and Eleonora, I was walking by the sea and um, I was facing um, uh, the Adriatic Sea in Italy and um, I will always keep with me that memory and the fact that what we're talking about here today, it connects with the, with the ocean and with the sea. So to me, being part of this project was uh, um, extremely, you know, profound um, on a personal level, but also an amazing professional experience working with um, uh, with these talents that you have in the room today. Yes, thank you, Serena. It's been a pleasure for everyone. Um, a, you have few to get more, the, you have to get a few more. A few more. Curiosities and uh, interesting uh, things that happen during the creation, for instance, is that uh, at first appearance, you might think that the two artists have a um, completely opposite approach to, uh, to what they created, how they created, and it could be true, but then in the end, we realize that what they actually do is just uh, two opposite uh, reactions to the same thing, which is uh, what we call the autobiography, which is the fear of void. 
Um, so for instance, as you can see in Sky Golpe, his portraits are always empty and, and while Hakatao tends to um, feel everything. Um, and I've heard from them that um, going back to when Sky Golpe enlarged and made the uh, uh, the the detail bigger. The first instinct, the first instinct was not to accept it. The second instinct was to peel it back again. Um, but again, um, uh, it, it was they're, they're very different. Uh, Stigolpe said that he really has this need of putting things out very quickly. It's the same need that as artists Hakatao have during their creation, during the flow of drawing and the creative flow, but it's just lower. Um, so it was very cool uh, to see this, um, we can call it opposite similarities. Um, it's, it, it's always very nice to see how actually closer um, creative people are. And I think that maybe Kai Golpe uh, could come up for a second to explain the fun uh, mechanism of the drop tomorrow, uh, if you like to do so. Siamo. Can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sorry, it was, was my bad. My bad. My mic was mute. So I I simply would like to thanks everyone for joining. Uh, I think this is another, you know, evidence of the the how magic the this movement is. Uh, like what what we are doing today is very special. You know, like seeing each other and you know gathering a bunch of friends you know and uh artists collector all in the same places so i'm 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 very excited and really thanks everyone to join um you know the idea of this space was really to create like to recreate the unconscious and uh i think we really managed to do that so i hope you're enjoying the experience uh and for the drop uh, simply, you know, we, we really took it as a, in a very experimental way. So from the beginning, it was uh, really how to build an experience also in the drop side. So I think we, we balance it in a, it, the, I think the drop is quite well balanced. There is like, uh, there are, there will be some open editions. There will be the, the body of the drop will uh, in a way preserve more the scarcity side, which is very important for for both of us, and there is the the last drawing, which is was uh, uh, so it's a special drawing. It's an experiment, and it was a great way to, you know, just push a little the boundaries and see what what we what we could have came up as idea to just make everything more complete and interesting. So, once again, thanks everyone for joining, and maybe now we can just simply you know uh, speak, chat together on the floor, and you know just. Uh, look at the art all together. Thanks again. Yeah, let's get uh, less formal. And if you have any questions, uh, just uh, we'll meet on the floor and chat. Hopefully we can do this on Arion. Uh, very happy to answer any questions that you have. Enjoy the show.